Hello YouTube and welcome to your 10th Java tutorial. I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Um, ninth Java tutorial. My bad. Um, so in this tutorial, we will be I'll be teaching you how to create a window. Now this is going to be a short, quick tutorial, and it's going to be really simple, and it's going to be using the concepts that you learned in the earlier tutorial. So um. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's go to File, New Java Project. Uh, I'll just name it YouTube, first GUI, next, and finish. We'll come down here. We'll create a new class. I'll name it um, first, first UI, public static void main string args we want our main method okay so now let's go ahead and delete all these comments and get started with the program so like in the earlier tutorial we're gonna have to import some classes that Java has so that we can create our window so we're gonna go ahead import Java Java X dot swing dot asterisk now basically what this does is it's gonna import everything in the swing class um, so we could type out import java dot java x dot swing dot uh, j option pane um, j frame we could do all that but since this is just a small program and um, we're limited on time we'll go ahead and just use the asterisk to import all of the classes in there um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new j frame object which is going to create our window so we're just going to type j frame sam equals new J frame. Okay, so now this should be familiar to you from the last tutorial, and if not, I'll go over it real quick. So we started off by saying J frame, which means we're going to be using the J frame class, and we're going to call it Sam. You can name it whatever you want, and we set it equal to new J frame, which just creates a new J frame object. So whenever we use Sam, it's going to use the J frame class. And so what we want to do is we're going to do sam dot set size. Now what this does is it's going to set the size of our window. So let's just make it a hundred pixels by a hundred pixels, and that's inside of our arguments. So now what we're going to do up here, we're going to create a button for our window. So we'll just type j button sam. No wait, we can't name it sam. Um, button equals new j button okay so it's pretty much doing the same thing that we did to make the window except now instead of making a window we're just making a button object so that we can use that so now what we're gonna do is we want to set the text that's inside of our button so just type button dot set text and now you can see that in Eclipse, whenever you type in something, not all the time, but sometimes when you're using methods and stuff that are already built in, it will give you little tips and give you stuff to choose from, which is very helpful. So we're going to set the text, and we'll just say, click me. Now you can also change the font, you can change the color, you can change um, what the button is. Um, in Java, the button comes with a default color, and... Um, a default look and so now what we want to do is we want to add that button to our window now if we don't add that button to our window then you'll never see it so to do this we're just going to type sam dot add which is going to add our component um, and we'll just add button to our window and now what we need to do is we need to tell the computer how to close our program now if we don't type this in then once we close our program it'll still be running but you just won't be able to see it and that's always bad so what we want to type is sam dot um, set default close operation which is right here and what we want to do is we want to type jframe dot exit underscore on 
flows. Now, whenever you use all caps in Java, that means that that is a constant and it never changes and it's always going to do the same thing. So um, now that we've used sam.setDefaultClosed operation um, and we want the J frame that we created called Sam, we want it to exit whenever we click the close button. Um, and um, ah, now, now what we're gonna do is um, let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. Hopefully it works. Ah, there we go. There's one problem. Um, whenever you make a window, you always have to set it visible or nothing's going to happen. You won't see anything. So we're going to type sam.set visible and set that equal to true. Now, I don't know why they did this in Java, but you always have to set that equal to true because at default, it's set to false. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see right here that we have a window and the button takes up the whole window and it's called click me. And you can resize it and do whatever you want. So um, this is just kind of get you started and interested in um, user interfaces and windows instead of the console. And we'll go we'll be going more in depth um, into it later. Um, this is probably a little confusing for you. But um, I was just showing you the basics, how to create the J frame, how to add the button to it. There's a bunch of other things in Java and if you're really curious, you can go out on Google and look up other stuff or you can just practice some of the other stuff that I put up on my page um, and um, wait for the next tutorial. So um, this is just for you people that have been getting bored with the console and that want to get the concepts of creating windows um, so that you can go off and start trying to do stuff by yourself. So um, thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.